Because when it, when it hits tall grass and the engine senses a load, that governor, you know, the engine is going to slow down, but the governor control then, there's a little arm on the inside of the engine that feeds, feeds back to the carburetor saying, I need more, you know, I need more fuel, so let more in. And, uh, yeah, somebody's been trying to fix this. Okay, so let's see what it does. I just primed it, primed it again a little bit. Getting ready to take this strap off. Okay, it's shooting that, uh, shooting gas right back past that carburetor. May have some, it, and the spring busted off and went flying somewhere. We try to find that spring. Okay, there's a cool little point of interest here. So I'm back here messing with this, and I'm like, okay, why isn't, on that, oh. When someone reinstalled this carburetor, okay, they took it off, they put on the new air cleaner and the filter, and when they got it back on there, they got that little arm on the other side of this detent over here. So this should be on the other side of this, so it should be over here. Let's see if we can just do that without breaking anything. Yeah, I'm just going to try to get it over that hump and turn it. To where it's on the other side of it. Is that even possible? Yeah. I think that's it. Okay, so there we go. There we go. So now see how it's on this side of it? Okay, then we'll get that spring back on there. And hopefully everything will be good. I did find the spring. Okay, let me get that back on there. So that spring is just going to go kind of back on here. And then we're going to have to between that little hole there and right here. And then once we get it close to being the right RPM, we should be able to bend this tang that way or that way. Um, bending it out that way increases RPM. So pulling this governor arm this way is gonna increase the RPM. Increasing spring tension will make that happen. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Get that spring back on there. Okay, so I kind of got the spring back into a semi-okay uh, shape. <laughs> it's not perfect. But uh, you could go, you know, look and find the manual for that uh, engine. And a lot of these. Okay, so I got that spring back on there. And I had stretched it out a little bit, got it to where it's looking pretty good. And now we're going to see if this engine likes that spring tension, especially now that the butterfly valve is back in the right spot. Letting my cat out of the garage here. All right, I'm gonna strap this up, the safety handle. I just use kind of this strap around the handle up there for the uh, safety bale to uh, be able to come down here and work on the engine. Now you gotta be really careful about that because you don't wanna get your toes up underneath the engine deck, the mower deck. So, not a great idea for everyone. Um, I've been working around them a lot, so I'm pretty cognizant of it. All right, so I'm going to give it a little gas, move this out of the way. Now, see if it'll stay running. I'm putting this air cleaner back on. Since it is staying running, I'm going to fine tune the uh, RPM with the uh, needle nose pliers.
going to take you down over here and show you how to adjust the RPM, fine tune it. going to grab that tab right there and moving it that way is going to increase the RPM. I want a little bit more RPM on this one. It's actually not bad right now.